So this video is about taking in the good, which is a practice that I learned from Rick Hansen. He's a uh, neuroscientist who's well known for positive neuroplasticity. So this practice, taking in the good, the first thing you need to know is something called the negativity bias. And the negativity bias is something that's evolved over a very, very long time, the history of humanity. And this is something that um, means that we as humans are naturally predisposed to look for the bad, to look for the unsafe, to look for the tigers behind the bushes that might jump out and eat us, to scan, literally scan our environments for what might be going wrong, what's uncomfortable, what could be dangerous. And that is great for evolution because somebody who's hanging out, chilling, and feeling really good is more likely to get eaten by a tiger than somebody who's extremely vigilant and constantly monitoring for danger. So great for evolution, not so great for modern day society when those sort of tigers behind the bushes are much less common and we actually want to feel safe and secure and content and calm. So noticing that, recognizing that there is this thing called the negativity bias is really helpful. Your brain, some people's brains are more vigilant, more wired for anxiety, for that scanning, that monitoring than others. But everyone has that as the basis of their brain, as the evolution of their brain. So recognizing that you're not alone and it's actually really natural to be in that state of anxiety, really. But we don't really want to be in that state anymore, right? It's not necessary, it's not helpful in our modern world to be constantly scanning for danger. So what we want to do is actually rewire our brains for happiness and contentment and ease. And this is possible. So that's the good news. And it also takes a lot of work. It takes essentially a lot of repetition to rewire your brain. So the good news is that the repetition is something that feels really good. Taking in the good. What a delicious sounding practice, right? So the practice of taking in the good is about recognizing well, there's two possible paths. Recognizing when things that feel good are happening. So maybe you notice that you're drinking a cup of tea and it tastes good and the warm feeling on your hands is really delicious. So you might just notice that. Or the second avenue is to actually conjure an experience that feels good. So you can intentionally create an experience that feels good or just remember one in your brain. So the first step is to have that experience of something that feels good. It could feel nourishing, it could feel comfortable, it could be physically delicious like a massage or giving yourself a hug. It could be the sensations of delicious food. Whatever kind of experience that feels good to you is actually super beneficial for your brain. And the problem is we often have those experiences many times a day and we skip right by them. We eat some delicious food, but we're on our phones and then we finish the food and we go on to the next thing. We're constantly, we're moving so fast that we don't take the time to notice the things that actually feel good in our bodies and in our minds, right? So the really important thing about this practice is pausing long enough to notice that you're having a good feeling experience and that you're allowed to take that in. Not only are you allowed to take that in, but taking that in is actually what's going to rewire your brain so that you can have more beneficial experiences in the long run. So the first step is noticing that you're having this experience. The second step is really letting it into your body. So if it's delicious food, tasting the food, maybe imagining that the food is going into your body and nourishing you. If it's a positive emotion like joy, noticing that positive emotion and then imagining perhaps that as you sit that you're breathing in the joy like perhaps picturing it like the colored light that you're breathing in and taking into your body and by doing that this is actually you know you've heard that phrase neurons that fire together wire together the longer we can sit with an experience the more likely the neurons are going to wire together so what we want to do with positive experiences is take them from our short-term memory into our long-term memory. The more positive experiences we can put into our long-term memory, the more we're able over time to build an experience of contentment, of a fulfilling and joyful life, right? 
So first step, notice the experience. Second step, take it in. Take it into your body. Really, you need to sit with it for at least 15 to 30 seconds, Rick Hansen says, in order for it to go from that short-term to long-term memory. And the other thing is you want to enhance it. So you want to pump it up a couple notches. So that feeling of joy, see if you can take it to exuberance. The delicious food, can it go from, oh, this is tasty food to like, oh, this is so delicious. Like how much can you amp up that experience? And that also will help it go into that long-term memory. And the amazing thing about this, it's really simple. It, it feels really good to do. And it honestly does rewire your brain. So you can take yourself from that state of constant vigilance, that anxiety, that looking for danger, that feeling like something's not right. And as you have these beneficial experiences, you'll look back over even just a couple weeks of time of doing this practice and have this feeling of, actually, you know what? My life is pretty good. I'm enjoying myself. It feels good to be in my body. I feel content. I feel happy. It doesn't mean that everything's always perfect. This is not about pushing away negative emotions, but recognizing when we're having positive emotions, letting them be there, enhancing them, making them even stronger, and then putting them into that long-term memory so that they can become part of your neural structure. So I hope that was helpful for you. Please comment, let me know if you have any questions about this technique, if it's something that you've used before, or if you're excited to try it. I'd love to hear how this works uh, for you. And please take some time to check out Rick Hansen's work as well. He is an extremely talented, really, really, uh, he explains things really simply. So he takes this complicated neuroscience and makes it into things that you can use in your everyday life. So that's something that I really appreciate about him. Thank you again, and I will talk to you soon.